Hey guys, I am back with a review over something that would actually could be Savage Planet, but I'm using it as a 3.0 breakout. But it could be called a Savage Planet. I, in my description, I'm probably gonna call it Breakout, but I might call it um Sa I might call it Savage Planet because I kind of forget sometimes because these videos are years apart, or the time I upload these videos are. Sometimes even months apart from when I actually made the video. So yeah. But this is basically one villain. This is a creature that was created by this dude. And this creature is created by other creatures. A lizard, a fly, and a rhino. You can't really see the rhino in him, but the rhino is basically just his weapon and his strength. Again... If you don't notice, strength of a rhino, weapon of rhino horns. Weapons are strong as rhino. Wings like flying. Do you actually turn it around? It has those. It has like little things sticking out. And like his back. And this is actually one of my, like, just something. I'm not trying to brag, but I love this villain. Something about it just makes it feel so cool. I don't know why. It just. I think it's because it looks like. Bionicle. Like, this looks nothing like Hero Factory, not even the other thing. It looks like Bionicle. And, like, it looks like it's bringing back Bionicle. And I thought of this because of what the actual helmet, the head is from. That's what made me think of it. He just looks so much like Bionicle, and that makes me just feel so good. Because I used to ha have Bionicles. Not that much, but I used to, and actually that's how I got this helmet. I traded someone want to buy Bionicles for his and or whatever I had for his Bionicle, and that's kind of where this helmet came from. And Terry body structure, and I was thinking, hmm, maybe I can recreate that body structure, make him kind of just one of those weird characters from Bionicles, one of the last Bionicle movies that there was, where there's all these things that will have elements. No, from the Mask of Light, all those things have elements. But and then this kind of came born, and I'm like, hey, I should make some some dude that controls this and created it blah, blah 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 and this was born now going over this it has a claw hand right here a actual hand right there to hold that I just showed you the back it can fly it has these spike things right here on the bottom and this random little piece because I do not have another one of those other pieces and I do not want to put one of these long ones again so that was born Originally, I was going to think of putting a tail, and I might have, if I had more of these, I might have just extended a tiny tail coming out, and then a little point that would, like, kind of drag around the ground. I was thinking of that, but then I'm like, nah. And I'm kind of thinking of making it a two-handed weapon, but then again, nah. Now going to his master or creator, or whatever you want to call him, he has a triple basic weapon. He uses it for shooting. That's basically the shooting for this character. He has mini wings, which helps him glide. And originally, I was gonna not give him this and give him not give him spiked feet and regular my uncle feet. And then I just nah, I nahed it. Nah. A couple things changed through him. One of them was his head, and the fact giving him those kind of hands. I was first thinking giving him two point one point oh hands. Jeez, I cannot say one point oh. And I don't know when these videos are ever uploaded, because Future Markets is really late. You hear anyone yelling? My parents are watching something, I don't know. I thought they were watching Green Hornet, but they would not yell at Green Hornet, because they've seen it a lot. So, yeah. That's this, and ho ho ho, next video is a mystery video, unless you've already seen it, and you're in the future, but if you're not, this might be a mystery video, unless I upload them all at 